dream comes true. You could swim along the river, all the way to the sea. You could fly up in the sky, above the clouds and trees. You could plant a flower garden up on top of the moon. You could swing through the jungle all afternoon. Wherever our story takes us, I can't wait to see. Yes, friends, come and read with me. It's online story time. And welcome to Online Storytime at your Grand Rapids Area Library. I'm Miss Tracy. I'm Teacher Missy. And we are so excited to have you here. Hey, Teacher Missy, before we start talking about this really fun thing we're going to talk about, do you want to sing? Oh, let's sing. I need a good start to the day. That's right. Storytime friends, do you want to sing and maybe dance a little bit with us? Oh, we could dance to our song. All right, here we go. If you want to hear a story, clap your hands. If you want to hear a story, clap your hands. If you want to hear a story, if you want to hear a story, if you want to hear a story, clap your hands. Oh, that felt so good. It doesn't just get you started. Hey, what do you want to talk about today? Well, this is something I love to do. I'm not very good at it, but I really like to do it. And I know kids like to do this. And if you look at what these two kids are doing on here, I don't know, can you kind of tell what they might be doing? If we had music, what might, oh, what's Miss Tracy doing? We're going to talk about dancing. Dancing. Dancing, dancing, dancing. I love to dance. And you know what I think of often? I think we're, a lot of us are born with the love to dance. I think so. Because if you look at little tiny human beings, whenever they hear music, they're, they start to move. They're moving. They start yep. to dance. There's a natural connection between that. That's Music right. Music and moving ourselves all around. And there are so many different types oh, of dancing. So many. And dances. I remember watching my grandma do a polka, and I watched my dad do a waltz, and all these different types of music that encourage you to move your body in different ways. You know, one of my favorite memories of my dad is him dancing with me and I stood on his cowboy boots and he would we would dance around the living room. Oh that's <laughs> that was a fabulous the best. Thing. Yeah. I can remember that seven or eight years old and I just thought, you know, he was Fred Astaire. <laughs> <laughs> you guys don't know who that is, but Hey, do you have any good books about dance? I do. I do. Hey, Miss Tracy, check out my book. I see a dancer on the cover. Do you see a dancer? I do too. And this is such a great story. This is called John's Turn. Hmm, his turn. Turn to do what, I wonder? And it was written by Matt Barnett and illustrated by Kate Baruby. And we're going to see what John's turn means. I think it looks like he's dancing. Hmm, let's find out. John's turn. Okay, if I can turn the pages, that would be great. Here we go. Oh, and this comes to us from Candlewick Press. And if Miss Tracy doesn't stop it, I'm going to. On, fr on Fridays, there's assembly in the morning before class. We sit in the cafeteria so it still smells like breakfast. Mr. Ross does announcements. Sometimes there's a guest, and then if we're good, <laughs> at the end, one of us gets to do something for the whole school. Can you see all the kids are sitting right there in rows on the floor? A performance. It's called Sharing Gifts. A lot of us think that's kind of a dumb name. But we also think sharing gifts is the best. Last week, Tina played a trumpet. Once, Jesse did magic tricks, and that was cool, but it was hard to see his cards from the back. Carla told us some jokes. Today, today was John's turn. John brought two bags to school, his backpack and one with his sharing gifts stuff. He was quiet at breakfast. 
We knew why. He was nervous. Look at, they're all talking and eating and look at, here's John, just kind of, ooh. Sometimes we get nervous about things. During announcements, John prepared. He was hidden behind a blue curtain. He unzipped his bag and changed into his clothes. He put on a white leotard, he put on black pants, and he put on black slippers. Then he was ready. Behind the curtain, John sat down and waited till it was his turn. Mr. Ross reminded him, uh, reminded us permission slips were due on Monday. And we all sang a song. Then he introduced John. What's John going to do? Andrea asked without raising his, Andre asked without raising his hand. Mr. Ross looked at his paper. Well, he's doing a dance. Cool, Andre said. He never raises his hand. The blue curtain moved. Then John came out onto the stage. And we could tell that his heart was beating very fast. Mr. Ross pressed play. The music were strings and, and violins and, and things and then many flutes. Someone said, well, how the heck do you dance to that? Oh, that was probably Tiffany. <laughs> a bunch of kids laughed. Miss, Mrs. K shushed the crowd. Then it was John's turn. He danced. Look at all the different ways he's moving his feet. Oh, and look, all the different ways up and down and right and left and crisscross. Oh my, look at that. That is phenomenal. I don't think I could do that. Look at his face. Does he look happy? I think dancing makes him happy, Miss Tracy. Absolutely. Look at his face. Then John stood still. He took a bow and he was breathing hard. He looked out at us and then it was our turn. We clapped. Look at them, they're cheering for him. John had a good turn, didn't he? And I believe that we are, I'm stuck here, but I think that's the last page. It is. Do you think that John, how do you think John feels now? How do you think he feels now? I think he hopefully feels very proud. That's what that I- a very brave thing for John to do. Yes, it, yes it was, it was very brave. And, and it's hard to stand up in front of people and, and, you know, do something. And share something that means so much to you. Right, right. And it clearly meant a lot to him. And he did a fine job. John's turn. Hey, Teacher Missy. Yes, ma'am. Hey, story time friends. Are you ready for a flannel board? Well, you know how I love these. It's flannel time. Oh yeah, it's flannel time. That's right. So if you see on the board, friends, we have some dancers. Would you count them with me? One, two, three, four, five. And they're all dancing in different ways. Some have their arms up to the side, some down, some jazzy. They're doing a lot of different dances. But we're gonna sing a song today and it's called Dancers. But this song actually has maybe three new words in it that talk about how different numbers of people dance together. One of the words that we're gonna talk about is duet. Okay? And a duet is when two people dance together. 
Another one of the words we're going to talk about today, or we're going to sing about today, is trio. If duet means two, does anybody know what trio might mean? Hmm. Yeah, trio means three. So when you have three artists doing anything together, you might have three people playing instruments, or three people on stage, or three people dancing. That's called a trio. And then when you have a whole group of people doing something together, that's called an ensemble. So if three people are, or excuse me, if many people are singing together, like a whole choir, like a choir. is an ensemble. A whole band is an ensemble. Or a whole bunch of people dancing together is an ensemble. So duet means two. Trio means three. And ensemble means a big group. Those are some really great words to know. Let's sing a song and we'll use all three of those words in a song, okay? And we're gonna start out with two dancers, okay? We're gonna have these two dancers. These guys are up here just watching what's going on, but these two are gonna dance for you. Here we go. These are dancers one and two. They would like to dance for you. They are ready, they are set to dance a lovely duet. Because duet means two. Nice job. Dancers three and four and five. They like to twirl, they like to jive. They dance with so much energy. They are a trio of three. three. Now, what happens if they all dance together? Remember that big new word? Here we go. Dancing all across the stage. These five dancers are all the rage. This ensemble, they leap and tap. And now it's time to clap. Yay! Because after any show, we want to show our appreciation by clapping. So, how many dancers were a duet? That's right, two. And a trio was three. And an ensemble was everybody. Hey, thanks for playing with us. Miss Tracy, I have another really fun book. Oh, oh my gosh, look at how she's dancing. That's she, different than how John dances. This is very different from how John, and you were talking earlier about there are so many different kinds of dancing. That's right. Fast and slow and, and um, all kinds of different, and we and it's really good exercise dancing is because it it makes you move really most of your body. Well, this girl loves to dance, and this is called Hip Hop Lollipop, and it was written by Susan McElroy Monter Mont Montaneri. I said that name thirteen times trying to because it doesn't it sticks to my tongue, and Brian Pinkney is our illustrator and we this book comes to us from Schwartz and we're gonna find out what hip hop lollipop is all about. Do you suppose that's her name? <laughs> lollipop? What a cute name. Mama says lollipop stop jumping snapping non-stop arms and shoulders pop in lock lollies dancing Hip hop. Look at her, she's got a little radio in her hand and she's got the cat dancing too, it looks like. Wow. <laughs> that I want to see. Hands tutting, knees jutting, arms cranking, body swanking, hip gyration, exultation. She is moving all over, isn't she? Teacher Missy, what does the word exultation mean? Big and exciting and, uh, and 
larger than something. Just I mean, just feeling good. Just feeling good. Just exaltation. You're just at the top of the world. And she looks like she's very happy. Mama says, time for bed. Bed. Lolly's arms overhead, dancing down the long hall, bouncing off the tall wall. <laughs> oh, look at her go. At sister's doorway, Lolly stops to say hey. Tasha's jam is techno. She glides heel to toe in toe slow-mo. So she's dancing slowly, but I don't think that Lolly is dancing slowly. Two different times. Flashing her a big grin, Lolly's quick to jump in. Arms and shoulders pop and lock. Sisters dancing hip hop. I think they're having so much fun. <laughs> the clock upon the wall chimes. Daddy calls, it's bedtime. There are those girls still dancing. Teeth brushing, music crushing. Bass thumping, shoulders pumping. Head rotation, jubilation. Jubilation, that's another big word. And that's just joyful, right. joyful. On the floor, Cooper snores. Lolly drops to all fours. Boo Boo pounces on her back, curls up to take a nap. Oh, Lolly yawns, rests her head, as if the dog's a comfy bed. <laughs> he doesn't seem to mind, though. Mama scoops her up in the up high. Mama scoops her up high, up into the sky. Sky. Then swings Lolly down low. In your room you go, go. Daddy calls, it's fun, hon, but turn the music down some. She's still got that radio going. Lolly finds her PJs, blows kisses to the DJ, spins the music low, low. She can still hear it, though. Pulls the covers up tight, shouts out loud, night, night. That's when Daddy comes in, turns the lights to dim, dim. Leans across the big bed, kisses Lolly's forehead. Oh, sighing deeply, oh, so sleepy. Last rotation, relaxation. Eyes close, but just then, jumping, snapping, non-stop, Lolly's dreaming hip-hop. <laughs> Even in her dream, she's dancing. Isn't that great? I love that. That is a great book. Go dance. Hey, Teacher Missy. Yes, Miss Tracy. Hey, story time, friends. Does anybody want to oh, wave oh, a oh, scarf? Oh. Yes. So out of your story time kits, I would like you to find your scarves. And, excuse me? One second. Well, of course. Story time, friends. Zebra would like to join us. Good morning, Teacher Missy. Good morning, Zebra. It is so good to see you. Thank you. Likewise, and I love watching you wave your... Can you get her green... Yeah, I can get her green scarf. It's all good. Here Thanks for remembering, Zebra. Here we go. Thank you, Miss Tracy. All right, so Zebra's going to stay there and watch. And as I was saying before Zebra asked to join us, 
Out of your story time kit, I'd like you to find your scarf. And if you don't have a story time kit yet, come on down to the library. We have a handful left just waiting for you. All right? So, and if you don't have a scarf to wave, what else could you wave? Mm hmm Oh, that's a good idea. Sure, even your sock. Ooh, yeah. Your was... sock or your washcloth or your paper towel or anything that moves. A piece of fabric that you might have. All right? And we are going to talk about dancing while we wave our scarves. And actually, there is a type of dance that's called a scarf dance. Yes, there is. And they actually wave their scarves while they're dancing, just like we're going to do today. Now, if you would rather stand up and move your whole body while you're waving your scarf, you are welcome to do that. Um, but we're gonna, I'm gonna stay down so everyone can see me. All right, so in this first song, this first song is called Sometimes Our Scarves Like to Dance. And in this first scarf song, we take three different movements and put them together, okay? Teacher Missy's trying to see the words, but you're not, you, 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 I, I don't, don't have to, worry, no. okay. Don't even worry about it, okay? So we're gonna take three different types of movements and we are going to put them together into a dance. That is a really long word called choreography. And that's important to dancers is to do the right movements to the dance at the right time. So they're all moving together. And that's called choreography. But what that is, is it's just taking little pieces and putting them all together. So today our scarves are going to wiggle. And our scarves are going to jump. Can you make your scarves jump? And our scarves are going to fly. So for this dance, we're going to wiggle, we're going to jump, and we're going to fly. Okay? And this is called Sometimes Our Scarves Like to Dance. Here we go. Sometimes our scarves like to wiggle. Wiggle, 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 wiggle. Sometimes our scarves like to jump, 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 jump. Sometimes our scarves like to fly, 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 fly. And sometimes our scarves like to dance. Here we go. Wiggle, jump, fly. Wiggle, jump, fly. There you go. Did you do that whole dance with your scarf? Wiggle, Wiggle jump, jump, fly. Wiggle, Wiggle jump, jump, fly. Oh my goodness, that was awesome choreography. All right, we have another song that we're gonna do and we're gonna dance our scarves. We're gonna dance our scarves up and down. We're gonna twirl them around. We're gonna go in and out and all about and then we're gonna go back to up and down and twirling around, okay? And I think I will give Teacher Missy the words to this one. All right, thank you, Miss Tracy. Here we go. We dance our scarves, we dance our scarves, up and down and twirl around, we dance our scarves. Did you get that? Up and down and twirl around. How about this one? Dance our scarves, we dance our scarves. In and out and all about, we dance our scarves. How did your scarves go? They go up and down? Let's go back to the first one, here we go. Dance our scarves, we dance our scarves. Up and down and all around, we dance our scarves. How else can your scarves move? We did up, we did down, we twirled around. That's right, we could jump like we did in the first one. Oh, side to side. Or we could go side to side, that's great. Or maybe our scarves can float and we can dance them that way. Hey, I hope you have fun dancing with your scarves. Teacher Missy, I had such an amazing time talking about dancing today. You know, isn't it just a fun thing to Oh my gosh, it's a fun thing to think about and it's a great thing to watch, 
It's more fun to do. That's right. And you don't really need anything to dance. You can have the music in your head, in your you head. can sing out loud, whatever. And it's so much fun to dance with friends. But we got to hear about John. How brave was John in front of everybody to share his gifts like that? And the cool thing is all of his friends loved it. They did, they did. They really did. And then hip hop lollipop going to bed. Yeah, she was dancing her whole way there. It took her quite a while to get to bed. <laughs> I think it did She too. had music in her head. <laughs> <laughs> and then we learned three new words about dance, duet, which is two dancers, trio, which is, you're right, three dancers, an ensemble, which could be a whole group of dancers. Oh, I think, though, it's time for us to say goodbye. You know, I think it is. Would you sing with us? All right, here we go. Oh, yes, it's time, time to say goodbye to all our friends. Yes, it's time to say goodbye to all our friends. Story time is done today. Now it's time to go and play. Oh, it's time to say goodbye to all our friends. Goodbye, everybody. Remember to dance.